Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. I'm Billy, the host. Welcome back to the show. 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 I'm Billy, the host. Welcome back to the show. I'm Billy, the host. We're joined today by producer Trent Luzak. Hello. We're in Trent's unnamed studio in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. And today we have a very special guest all the way from Philadelphia, Patrick O'Malley. What's up, dude? I'm not from Philly. Family's from Philly. I'm from Amish country, bro. Oh, you but you did. Did you start doing comedy in Philly or Atlanta? Uh, like just outside of Philly, like Pennsylvania. I, right. I was like working for a summer in like a suburb of Philly, kind of. So I had to go around there. You were Amish? No. <laughs> My neighbors were Amish, though. You ever think about just like giving all this up and going to live with the Amish people? Yeah, actually, like, low key, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, some days like I see just like. Uh, are they Amish or are they like Mennonite? There's both. There's both. I don't like them. I, I would go like just live in the woods and chill, not like be around them because they're kind of assholes. Sometimes. Have you ever been at the gas station? You see the whole van pull up. Yeah, that's that's Mennonite. Go, that's Mennonite. That's Mennonite. That's Mennonite. What, what do you think they're up to? I don't do. They just make their own rules like they do whatever they want and then just don't have to pay taxes. And then their horse is shit in the road. and They don't pick it up. And then the, <laughs> I, like they're they're they're. they're like horse and buggies like the buggy has metal tires that fucks up the roads <laughs> don't pay ta- taxes and then sometimes they'll just like do electricity like electri- fuck they'll like have electricity but like just off their property like just right off their property and then and then consider it fine yeah i think i saw something on vice where like a mennonite guy had a smartphone and everybody else in the village or whatever was mad at him, but he mm-hmm. was like, "I don't think it's so bad. It's pretty, pretty cool, actually." <laughs> yeah, some of them have like he probably discovered porn on there and was oh, like, yeah, "It's not dude. so bad, guys. Oh, look, yeah, he's we like, can look, use this for a lot of things." He's Col- like, "Look, they shave, bro." <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen anything like it? I think uh, all different kinds. Seen anything like? Wait, what have I seen? The porn on the internet. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought <laughs> you meant like a like a Amish ladies box. Oh well, I've oh, not seen that. Have you? No, but I've heard they fuck, dude. Like I used I to, I used to be uh, friends with this guy Debeige back home, and uh, he went to. Uh, Shout out to Beach, but he went to an Amish party one time and he told me to get through the front door and like step over two people having sex. Nice. Like they were just all fucking well, at this party. That's like everybody deep down likes to have sex, right? Right. Yeah, Unless you course. have an underlying condition. Mm-hmm. You probably like to have sex. And those are traditional women right there. They're churning butter and whatnot. And they're churning out babies too. <laughs> yeah. And they want to, I guess. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if they're brainwashed. They're churning or... out the palest motherfuckers you've ever seen. Dude. Have you noticed that... Uh, live... Their skin looks like butter. <laughs> Have you noticed living in the city that some of the girls who are very like hypersexual or always kind of talking about sex, they're not always the best at sex? No. Usually they're pretty damn good. You think so? Well, maybe you're into some weird shit. Maybe. You like the leather and the... I don't uh, like leather. That's that's <laughs> sweaty, bro. I, I don't need any leather. Sometimes sweaty is good. Yeah, you get that you get that primal going. Yeah. Yeah. You ever tried being Amish? Those guys are sweating all day. <laughs> you put, put up a Dude, house? we had an Amish kid. Like, so they stopped going to school after eighth grade. It's like there's a Amish dude, Carl, uh, in my grade growing up. And like he was, he was really smart actually. Um, and we were in this math class and it together. At any time that the teacher would like have a big problem up there, but didn't want to do the mental math, be like, "Can anyone type that in the calculator quick?" He would shoot up, be like, "Yeah, me, please." And would just like type it in. He loved, he loved that calculator. He was a calculator kind of guy. Yeah, and it was crazy. Was He's it like, like a TI? Was it like a nice calculator? No, nah, I was like the shittier one. <laughs> <laughs> It was a shitty one. It blew his mind. <laughs> and then I would just go home and play Black Ops 2 and be like, yeah. Come it wasn't on. even right half of the time. Like, <laughs> it has, it? has that, like, that like one of the pixels out the whole time. I remember some of those old like scientific calculators you used to buy at the mm-hmm. grocery store or something. Like Dollar yeah, General. Sometimes they'd be wrong. <laughs> I've never seen one be wrong. There's a standard for calculators. I didn't know. <laughs> 
Well, that's why if you go to uh, college for engineering or math or something like that, there's mm-hmm. a, there's a list of approved calculators. Yeah. Well, I used to do it, like when I would take uh, tests in college, it was like you couldn't even use the good calculators. Because you can like program notes and like you can cheat on those so easily. Uh, yeah, it's like called you, real life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all real life. Oh, science where, where is. I use the resources available to me. You take some someone's notes or yeah. some experience from another time you did this, and you apply it to yeah. what you're working on, and try to make it a little better. That's all. <laughs> That's all you can do. I used to convince my teachers to let me use my phone calculator. Oh my god! Have you heard the theory that like oh, yeah. the aliens gave of humans the semiconductor? Yeah, yeah, they gave them a transistor. And shit. I think that's just, I think that's nonsense. Yeah, that's because, definitely nonsense. Because science is like you said, it's you take notes from some experience in the past that where something worked and you mm-hmm. try to improve upon it. I will say though, dude, I did electrical engineering uh, in college and I took a couple of semiconductor classes. Those things are crazy, bro. I don't know <laughs> how we figured that out. But so they I used do to be bigger, right? And they used to be mm-hmm. not as powerful. Yeah. And um, they are so they are really cool. It's insane. There was I was watching like Ancient Aliens, I think, and uh, it, it was a picture of like the Egyptian hieroglyphic, and it looked like they had like a like a cathode ray tube going. Yeah. And that was. Can you try of, that word again, please? Uh, which one? <laughs> I know I messed one of them up. You met, uh, I'm H-N-A. not. I can't say it. To, I can't say it because that'll give it away. Egyptian. No. Cat. It was the the writings. What do they call their writings? Hieroglyphics. Oh. Hieroglyphics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What did he call them? He called them hygroglyphics. Oh, okay. Hi- okay. Hygro- I remember something not being right there. The hydroglyphics. <laughs> yeah. I got them hydroponics, man. Growing them hydroglyphics. Yeah, dude. You got that Pyramid right? Giza weed. <laughs> no, I heard a G. Hygroglyphic. It, you, <laughs> you, you threw the G early, yeah. and then you were like, oh, man. And you tried to correct, okay. but I caught it. Well, man, I don't think... The two listeners are going to be upset that I messed up a word. Or My two mom's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Is your mom going to watch this? No. No, but I'll, it's pretty funny. So. I'll put on my best behavior. She's a teacher. Well, the pastor she at my church like might watch on. this. Nice. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Dude, my mom was. A He'll t- forgive me. My mom. My mom is kind of funny. She was like a. She was like the, a teacher at the school district where I grew up. And, uh, like, the funniest thing I ever saw her do, she used to do, like, lunch duty, right? And um, so she would just, like, patrol around. And there was this kid I went to school with that was, like, the worst kid I've ever met in my entire life. Even to this day, he's still, like, the worst human I've ever met. And he would do this thing at lunch. We know you have, like, that tray with the compartments. Yeah. Like, one of them, he would just fill up with, like, sauce every day yeah. and only use a little bit of it. And I guess my mom didn't like that. Uh, and one day... He had just like a whole thing of barbecue sauce, like a quart of barbecue sauce. And my mom just put a spoon down in front of him and was like, eat it. <laughs> and just made this kid eat it <laughs> until he was literally he was literally crying, just like eating barbecue sauce. That's some old school pettiness right there, though. Yeah, I feel yeah. like barbecue sauce is really not that valuable of a kitchen resource, you know. If yeah, he, if he she should have waited for hot sauce day. Oh Christ! Yeah, <laughs> I mean, what's barbecue sauce really? Some ketchup with some brown sugar, mustard, maybe a little vinegar. Yeah, you sound like you've worked at a restaurant. Before. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. How many restaurants have you worked at? Uh, does KFC count as a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a fast food restaurant. Well, how do Three. they make the chicken at KFC? You I don't know, right dude. I, I wasn't, I'm not that greasy. <laughs> I was up front. I was up front, bro. Well, I worked at Wendy's. And <laughs> they start you on the cash register, but after like two weeks when the grill guy doesn't show up because he nodded off. No, dude, our grill guys took pride in their work. <laughs> yeah. They just throw you wherever, man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> My Wendy's that I, that I worked at, like <clears throat> the manager there used to sell weed, and so... Uh, he would just like spark up a joint while you were washing the dishes and mm-hmm. blow it out the the drive through window. He would hold the drive through window open with a potato, <laughs> like the one of the baked potatoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, that's so fun. My manager, uh, my manager would smoke a lot too. But I, I used to sell weed to my manager. I would sell el- edibles nice. to him when I was like fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a thirty year old guy. It was so sick. <laughs> 
dude yeah we would smoke sometimes it was fine he was awesome dude that and then one time i was th- and then like after i started working <laughs> that stopped working there like a few like a year later a few months later i was just like tripping with some of my friends and we went to a local thrift store and i saw him and i walked <laughs> up and was like this is crazy dude i have bread and how are you doing and he's like this is how i'm doing and it was just like a lady there holding a baby i was oh, like oh my man. god i gotta leave same yeah <laughs> yeah that's you know <laughs> that's how i'm doing yeah <laughs> i'm essentially a kfc manager so oh yeah at least i'm the manager Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, that manager at that Wendy's, he thought I was an idiot, dude, because I was so young, and I would get way too high at his house. And then one time I got scared of his dog because I was way too high and I was getting paranoid. <laughs> so I was. What like, kind of dog was it? It was. Uh, it was like a mutt, but it was kind of a. Um, it was a medium sized dog. Yeah. Not like a little Yorkie scaring me, which you know. Sometimes those little dogs. I hate those things. Get your ankles. And, yeah. You know. It's just a rat. <laughs> it's just a rat that knows his name. Yeah. Um, I That's think like. It is, I think a real <laughs> dog wants to be like a, somewhat of a predator, right? Most dogs probably yeah. want to be an alpha and there's no way that the little rat dog can be an alpha. Mm-hmm. But there was a little gang of chihuahuas in my old neighborhood. And it was kind of a, a gang. What did they? Did they have they like a? Around, they were wearing yeah. flannels with one button at the yeah, top. They were called yeah. MS Thirteen. <laughs> they would roll up in MS Thirteen inches man. long. Yeah. It, well, I called them a gang because they did look like MS Thirteen patrol in the neighborhood. But I don't know if it was even all the same person's chihuahuas because they were just a, apartments. You know, I think it was like multiple chihuahuas. Where was this? That I congregated. Right around here. Right, yeah. But that neighborhood was known for gang activity. Mm-hmm. They even, the, even the dogs wanted to grow up to be gangsters. <laughs> Were those the guard dogs? Yeah. <laughs> it was a cool neighborhood. I just had to move because I was having a baby and I couldn't live there anymore because I heard gunshots one night. Right. But uh, there was a family of cats that lived there, too. And they kept sending out emails saying, like, don't feed the, the cats. The cats were sending emails? Oh. <laughs> the, yeah, <laughs> the leasing office sent out emails, but people would just feed the cats anyway. Cats are cool, man. I love cats. Yeah. I got some cats. How many cats you got? Two. Okay, I got two cats. Yeah, you you were living with two cats as a bachelor, huh? You were living with two cats as a bachelor? Uh, no, I was okay, not. So you acquired a second cat? No, I was living with no cats as a bachelor. Oh wow! Okay. And then like I was trying, and I was like planning on getting cats for like ever. Um, and then I met my girlfriend and she had two cats and they were sick. I was like, all right, I need to finally, probably finally do this. So her two cats were sick. They're dope. Oh, like oh, sick isn't oh, sick okay. isn't cool. All right. One of them, one of them does have AIDS. Though. <laughs> one of them does have feline oh, AIDS. Well, then so, I they heard, so they were, yeah, the cats aren't. Yeah. <laughs> I heard cats get like Magic Johnson AIDS where they're still around. Yeah, it's chilling, but it just like will sneeze a lot and it'll just like sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and just get like a fat booger. But it's the shit. It's a really cool cat. So you live with your girlfriend now? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah. But those are her cats, right? Those are her cat. Well, she has two cats, and then I got two cats. So now there's four cats in the mix. Yeah, but oh, like in man. different houses and stuff. Oh man. Yeah. But what if things get serious, and then she wants to move in with you, and now you got four cats? Well, that'd be fine, but we just got to keep AIDS cat over there. <laughs> we got to keep Freddy Meowkery over well, there. Are they all fixed? Yeah, oh. but you can still. But it's like blood and shit. Like if it just attacks one. Well, they're going to attack each other. My two cats are brothers, so, like, they love each other. Okay. Yeah. Then how does one have AIDS and the other one doesn't? My two cats are brothers. She has two random cats, and one of them (laughs) just had AIDS. Okay. Yeah. Is it a Siamese cat? No, it's like a white, long-haired, fluffy cat. Okay. It's uh, it's name's Chowder. Nice. Yeah. Are they all boys? Uh, She has one girl. Okay. And then other other than that's all boys i have two girl cats mm-hmm. those are my girls right there yeah what about what about your baby <laughs> yeah i heard too yeah. <laughs> that's my human girl yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, you know the cats have been around longer than the baby so mm-hmm. they've got some seniority there. yeah they got, they got seniority. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're where you get out first in the house fire yeah <laughs> no. well i don't know 
Hopefully nah, they'll they, jump. They'll jump. They'll hopefully fire. the cats will get out of there. Yeah. With the fire, because I don't know you. If I tried to look for the cats, even in the fire, they would probably just hide from me mm-hmm. and be like. Yeah, one of mine is like super shy, super shy. And then he also does this thing where like he doesn't drink out of the water. He puts his he puts his paw in it and then licks it off his paw. Yeah. Okay. What is I've that? I've seen cats do that. Something about they don't want to get their face wet. Or yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my girlfriend said last night they don't want to get their whiskers wet. Which kind of makes sense because I hate, with this mustache, I hate using like a <laughs> water fountain. So I know exactly <laughs> what he's kind of like. You ever use a water fountain in I public? I feel you, buddy. And you come up, you got like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, that Yeah, that's true. Uh, have you tried doing the uh, the sink faucet? Just letting it run a little? Um, some cats like that. Better. Yeah, I had like a water fountain that was plugged in the wall, and they would just lap up sometimes. But that thing's just got moldy as hell, dude. Yeah, that I found that I use the the kitchen bowls, and then every time I replace it, I just get a new bowl. And yeah, that, yeah, that keeps them happy. Yeah, that's what I'm on I, now. I I was noticing that red yeah. bacteria building up in all of the auto drinkers. Mm-hmm. What's up? I had a roommate whose cat loved to just drink right out of the sink faucet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My girlfriend's cats go crazy for that. I don't think mine even have seen it. Yeah. But. Shove them in the sink. I got one cat who you can like, you can kind of put her under the faucet if she's got something stuck in her hair. She's like a white long hair cat. Mm -hmm. But my other cat, if you try to get her anywhere near like a water source, she'll just fuck. She'll just transform into a. Liquid blades and oh, yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't even tried. I don't want to try. My cat's <laughs> claws are so long, dude. How do you cut those? You clip them with nail clippers. Ah, how do they not just fuck you up after you clip them? Like, yeah. how do they let you clip them? You, you wait till after they eat or something, and then uh, you just grab them. You do it real quick, and then my one cat doesn't care, but my other cat will complain a little. Yeah, she'll be like, Rah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck that, dude. But yeah, it is kind of hard getting it. You got to make sure you don't cut them too short. Yeah. Or they'll start to split. Yeah, you get that nerve. Yeah. But you do got to cut them for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Billy's, Billy's veterinarian podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a Philly cheesesteak? Uh, yeah. Have you ever had wings? I've been to Buffalo before. Yeah. <laughs> You're in Atlanta too, man. Yeah, hot lemon pepper. Yeah, dude, best best cheesesteak is Joe's. Though, lemon dude, pepper Joe's in Fishtown. That shit's fine. Where's Fishtown? Fishtown's like uh, near the Delaware and like kind of northish Philly. Not quite North Philly. I was just there. I couldn't tell you where I got a cheesesteak. I did get one though. I did a spot <coughs> at the show you recommended to me. Oh one. yeah, do Fergie's. Yeah, I with did, Shane, I did that. that spot. Sick. Yeah, shout out to them; they yeah. were super cool. Everybody on that show was yeah. super off, funny. Off leash comedy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They're doing some good stuff. Mm-hmm. And then, as soon as I was done with that show, I uh, uh, grabbed a Philly cheesesteak, <laughs> ate it, and then left. Like, yeah, I rolled into Philly that day. That's in Center City. Did the show, got a cheesesteak bounced off to new york i think no nice. new jersey yeah yeah have you done uh new york no they say they got a um a chopped cheese sandwich in new york yeah, that yeah. rivals the philly cheesesteak yeah i've seen them make i've seen all those things on instagram because literally all i i spent probably like two hours a day just looking at people making food on instagram which is terrible he said, but, you said, you told me you're not from Philadelphia, and most of my questions were about cheesesteaks. Oh, yeah. That I had prepared <laughs> today. I'll take some more cheesesteak questions, but uh, my, my dad grew up in Philly, <laughs> and I still got some family there, but no, nah, I'm from I'm from literally like three hours from Philly and like three hours from Pittsburgh, like the middle of the fucking state. Oh, my, okay. my town growing up was like 4,000 people. Yeah, your life is like the office, U.S. Yeah, but even smaller. <laughs> even Scranton has like... That's like a, that's a legit city. Well, one time I slept at like an office building in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Well, looked, why? Uh, I just wanted to. We were happy. You just wanted to? <laughs> well, we slept in the parking lot of an oh, office building oh, oh. in the van. Yeah, yeah. But it was like halfway to where we were going. I think we were playing in Pittsburgh the next night. 
Yeah. And uh, it was snowing, so I didn't want to drive anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going to pull over in Scranton and find like an office building that looks like the. <laughs> Dude, I, sh I did that here. <laughs> I did that like just around here a few months ago. I was at McCracken's and uh, had more than I'd like to admit to drink. Yeah. And then just like hit a pop pothole and pop my tire. No way. Yeah, dude. And I had to just park like Marietta Water <laughs> overnight. And I called so many friends. I was like, dude, somebody's got to go get me. Like, I can't get this. <laughs> yeah, you could have called me, man. I live right around. Bro, I'm and literally I'm, yeah, right <laughs> around the corner. I know, but I want to sleep in my bed. <laughs> I called. I called all my roommates first, and one of them got me. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they got to bring the convoy, get the car back, and mm -hmm. everything. Um. But yeah, you know, if you're ever in Marietta and you need some, hell yeah, yeah. Next time, next time I'm on the borderline of getting a DUI, I'll hit you. <laughs> <laughs> that just like that uh, Tim Robinson sketch. Uh, have you seen that? Uh, I see him. What? Which one? The new season with the driving crooner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He starts yeah, yeah. it out. He's like, if you ever have too much to drink, man, it's no problem. Uh -huh. Just give me a call. He shows hey, <laughs> they make they're making it not look real. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find a way to make money on this. Yeah. That's how I'm looking at my baby right now. <laughs> 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 gotta find a way to make money on this thing. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Starting to be a child actor. Dude. You gotta start him young, man. Yeah. Have you seen this drama online about um Lil Tay? No. <coughs> oh, like, wasn't that like in 2017? I saw an article about Lil Tay is uh, passed away tragically. Wait, wait, wait. The, like, the, like, eight-year-old yeah. little Asian girl that was like, I have all this money. Yeah. She's yeah, dead? that accent was racist, but yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't even do an accent. I swear to God, I didn't. <laughs> I was just halfway through swallowing. You kind of have, like, the Pennsylvania accent, though, so that's why I thought you were from Philadelphia. Or I don't say my dad has, like, the worst he says like water. it is funny that it still is on the wikipedia that she died in august 2023 what's funny about that it, it still says that yeah well, there this was is like ongoing this apparently oh oh she didn't actually die no oh yeah yeah okay this one from time says teen rapper lil tay says she's still alive after reports of death she's a clone bro. but it was from Just her like Gucci. she might be when yeah. it, if she blows up and gets super famous you know that she's uh well i forgot she was famous until all these articles started yeah but out. isn't this the perfect way to slingshot her is into being like just a back mega, into it, just yeah. a mega influencer who just unless it all comes out that it was like the Jesse Smollett thing. Where yeah, it was oh like yeah. She made all this up just for attention. Definitely. And I how, feel wait, how like old is she? I think she's thirteen, fifteen. She definitely made it up. Some kind of child. I it is kind of confusing about like who's behind all these videos because no thirteen year old goes, oh, I'm gonna make a video where it looks like I have a Lamborghini and two hundred thousand dollars cash mm -hmm. no 13 year old has that idea dude have you ever seen uh have you ever seen mini gronk uh, yeah dude, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's just like wait dude it's like this like 12 year old running back that has like a little gut but kind of <laughs> but kind of can move quick and his dad just has him like make all these videos of him like flexing while dodging cones <laughs> and shit and he's got uh, he's got all this ice I think he already has like a D1 offer. Oh, and he's man. like 12. What kind of clown world do we live in? Oh, and he has a mullet. Oh, yeah. That's the only cool thing about him, dude. You know this kid's going to be hooked on Oxycontin pills by the time he's. Dude, like his form is terrible. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why he's going to be hooked on Oxycontin yeah. pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That kid, that was. I don't even think it's good for kids to train this way, right? Like, you want them to train. They did by in Sparta, like, bro. And they, made, and they made a movie about that. Those so. guys yeah, but everybody died. died at 30 back then. Worth it. And they used to throw the kids with disabilities off a cliff. <laughs> Not worth it. Honestly, <laughs> this kid would have a mullet and they would throw him off a cliff. They'd be like, "This, look at this crazy child. And Ten in years. that movie, like the, the queen gets sexually assaulted as soon as the king leaves. So they were messed up, man. They, they that were, happened in 300? In the movie. Oh, I didn't know that. I was more focused on the fact that every dude had like a 12 pack. I think that movie Immortals was a better movie. That was I've a great That movie. movie was pretty sick. It had a... Uh, that Spartan movie? It had no. Henry, Henry Cavill in it. It was like Greek mythology. 
but in like a kind of DC yeah. superhero. Bro, just so it and as metal as it can be. Oh Mickey, yeah, Mickey Rourke. Was that um, Zack Snyder? Uh, oh, it's not Zack Snyder. No. Never uh, seen this yet. I don't think I've heard of no, this. No, this movie's sick. Bro. I thought it had something to do with 300, like the same people made it or something like that. It kind of had a similar vibe, but... Is it about Spartans? I might have just I made that up because I think mythology. they came out. They might be in it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just kind of like a story, kind of standard story, but w- really uh, a lot of Greek mythology and just, dude, so metal. Like, Wait, hold on. I need to go back. If they th- if in Sparta they threw the disabled people off the roof, how come there was the hunchback in three hundred? Because he lived and then he went to join the um, uh, the Persians. No, but he was a Spartan the whole time, and then he kept getting disrespected, and then I think they them. explained it, but nobody cared enough to listen to him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that was the problem, right? Like, there. why was he there at all if they just throw the babies? Off? That's what they were saying. Why is this yeah. guy like, still here? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's a progressive movie, though. They I got, think that's they got, what happened, though. He lived, and then he came back, and they were like, ah, well. They're like, what? <laughs> you can hang out outside. That's funny. Yeah, that's they a progressive a movie. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got someone disabled. They got <laughs> Prince Xerxes that looks like he's a drag queen, you know? I think it just is a drag queen Yeah. in that movie. Did this have nothing to do with the people who made 300? No, I don't think so. Man. But maybe. Mandela Effect. I thought it was Zack Snyder. I guess that's why it's good, because it wasn't Zack Snyder. The Minotaur. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Would you fuck a Minotaur? Like, um, a, like a lady Minotaur? She had, if, she was, if she was all lady from like the neck down, like had titties <coughs> and stuff. And then she just had that big goat booty. Yeah, probably. Not There's the goat booty, bro. The goat head. <laughs> oh. Neck down. Oh. <laughs> also, it's not a goat. It's a bull. Yeah. So it would be a cow's head. Oh. Yeah. Well, she's got to have them cow. Could you look? Especially if it's if it's the cow from Baby Bell Cheese, bro. If I'm going I get crazy. to pick which parts are are the bull. What part would cow. you want to be the the bull? The udders. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That back meat, that back strap. Yeah, definitely. I uh, get the bangs of that baby bell <laughs> cheese cow. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, just the best. Yeah, I guess a minotaur is a bull, right? So it would have yeah, to be yeah. a lady cow. Um, probably. So probably not. I'd go feet, so she can't run away. Feet of what? <laughs> the feet like, of a cow. Of a cow. <laughs> I feel like if you had sex with a cow, it wouldn't even know you were back there. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you underestimate me, Billy. Because <laughs> isn't sure there like videos. a thing where people will like drill a hole into the side of a cow and then get stuff out of their stomach? That's not supposed I've to be seen, I've seen some shit like that. And it like doesn't bother the cow at all? Yeah, I've seen like a cow with like a big like cyst and then they just like cut it with like a sword and it yeah. doesn't even doesn't even flinch they have dude. like eight stomachs but yeah you're right dude cat uh, three. Oh, three they have three stomachs but uh PETA. i was in ffa dude central pa i have to know that shit um yeah i've seen shit like that but like they don't move and trent you're right dude cows can't walk downstairs i don't know if that's why you said the foot thing but oh yeah you gotta have a crane to get him out yeah i think that was the the school prank one time was somebody brought a cow really? into the school and had them walk up the stairs. Yeah. But they can't go down the stairs, so they had to get a crane <laughs> to get the cow out of there. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> I'm surprised no one did that. Well, there's so many cows where I was at, dude. There's a prank at the Marietta High School. They just like teepee the whole school every year, I think. Nice. The seniors do it. I don't think we really did pranks, we just did drugs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we used to have a fight club at my middle school. Really? Did you ever win? Uh, No. It was all Does good, anyone ever win? Know. Yeah, uh, well, like, like, you know, there's some there's some kids with way harder childhoods than I had. <laughs> Worst problem I had. <laughs> <Fucking> well, take, <laughs> that cover yeah. school taped up, dude. 
Worst problem I had was like I discovered emo music. Yeah, and, yeah. And that like, doesn't help you in the ring, bro. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, there's other kids that are cutting their hair into a mohawk, mm-hmm. climbing it, tr- trimming their fingernails right before. Yeah, yeah Johnny's and dad. Like, oh, was, this guy's bringing some emotion to this fight. <laughs> Johnny's dad was kicking his ass every other weekend. Mm-hmm. And here yeah, so he had I practice. Am. He kind of knows yeah. how to. A fighting a Weasel. way bigger dude yeah. too, right? It's like this guy's nowhere near as big as my dad. So, dude, the only that hard. my high school didn't have like many fights. Like there's some, but not like a fight heavy. But I did see a dude like just get hit in the head, uh, like come to the bath and just get like clocked and then fall down, like hit his head on like one of the sinks, stick it oh. out. I think I got fucked up. Something happened in it where like my high school. Obtained a bunch of kids because of another school kind of like dropping out of some whatever national. You just absorbed them accreditation, yeah. So we like got a bunch of kids. Hmm. In the yeah, I don't think obtained is ever the right word for kids. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think they came to our school because of the no child left behind thing. Where if your school wasn't like up to the charter or whatever it is, then you could send them to a different school. And those kids used to get started, like, all the fights. <laughs> it was always like, oh, it's them again. Yeah. It's like, fuck it, we're going preliminaries, bro. We're going, <laughs> going it's like they're in the, they feel like they're in the Dana White Contender Series. They got to make they, a name for themselves. Yeah, I guess so. It was like they had to establish their, yeah. their dominance or else... Uh, They'd be stuck in video production class or something like that. That doesn't sound that bad. I d- I was a, a video production class kid. Nice. We used to do the morning news at my dude. School. I did the morning announcements. That shit was so fun. It was fun, yeah. I love that. We did the uh, competition for the Skills USA thing, and we came in second. But that shit was rigged. what's that? Uh, you the competition is called Skills USA. I think they do all the different like technical courses you can take at high schools, mm-hmm. and um, uh, so our competition was like you had to write a news story, and then you had to present it, and you had to do all like the camera switching and mm. the graphics, the lower thirds, and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. That's pretty cool. Teleprompter. But the school that was hosting it won because it was all their equipment, and their equipment sucked, dude. It was like ten years older than the stuff we had at our school. Yeah. So I was just like doing my best, but yeah, that's fun. Do you know? Um, do you know Custom Grow Four Twenty? Uh. Uh-uh. Dude, he's one of the OGs of just smoking weed on YouTube, <laughs> and that's like all his videos are is just him smoking weed. But he has like the funniest intro. And like one day I did uh the announcements just like 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 his intro. And it was very fun for like the four friends of mine that would like to get high. <laughs> yeah, custom grow four twenty. He's got a video of him <laughs> he's got a video of him taking a one gram dab. <laughs> and it's so it's so funny because he like it's just ten minute video of him just like crying and like be like, Oh god, oh god. This was always my argument for legalization no, that's of not marijuana, it. That's not it. though. That's a that's not the OG one. You got look up custom grove one gram dab. You know before it's probably his most popular video, honestly. No, it's not. That's not it. I know it says. I know that video says custom grove one gram dab, <laughs> but that is not it. You gotta understand. No, it's not it. All I right. promise you. Trent is uh, not gonna work very hard to find this, so it won't be that hard to find. I promise you. Right there, right there. What? Yeah, yeah. What up, YouTube? You too. I would do like, yeah, yeah. What up, Seals Grove? <laughs> and then uh, he's got a whole. He's got like ten more seconds to that. And then he always ends it with in this one. <laughs> it's that one. Yeah, it's that first one with Harry, his boy Harry, and the fucking Buck Buccaneers hat and Buccaneers jersey. One gram dab tablet uh, challenge. Yeah. What does drippage mean? I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh. I have an idea. It's when, it's at one point, he's like, he took this gram dab. And he's leaning over like this. And he's just drooling out of his mouth. He's crying. And his nose is just like snotted. And he's like, oh, in God. This, in this video? Yeah, go to like minute six. I'm happy for this guy because I would never want to do this. 
Do que That's the drippage, bro. Hold that on. was the drippage. Oh, yeah. that's the He's drippage. He's so wet. Oh, oh, dude. Yeah. That's very gross. He probably just put a hole in the back of his throat. Dude, he looks like <laughs> he looks like somebody in the first season of Walking Dead that just got bit by a zombie. Yeah, he looks like a uh oh He's not like having a king fun at all. Who's yeah. just been poisoned by his uh, drippage, drippage, his, oh. major drippage. This is my favorite video. It's all for your high school, dude. This is the best fucking video. Now this is very funny. And you did yeah. this on the morning <laughs> announcements. I didn't take a one gram dab on the morning announcements, you but up. his intro there, how he did like, like ten seconds. He looks yeah, like yeah, he up, just got done doing hot pepper comedy at yeah, Dynamic yeah. El Dorado, <laughs> bro. That's what hey, I, that's the Saturday. I'm pretty sure. Actually, <laughs> that's what I look like coming out of a gas <laughs> chamber. Yeah. This Saturday at a Dynamic El Dorado, El Dorado, come out to hot pepper comedy hosted by Damon Lee. Hell yeah! I think it's this Saturday. Are you on it? No. I'm doing it in like <laughs> October though. I'm very much not. Fuck, oh, dude. I said on another podcast that I think Steve-O would be the greatest drop in for that. Dude, that show. would be crazy. Because he does stand up. Yeah. And. Uh, that would be nothing to He him, would dude. shove him up his ass. I, or I was literally like just going to say that. He would, he would probably take all the peppers, take the seeds out. And shove the seeds up his like the hot part. Steve O, please drop into uh, hot pepper Steve-o. comedy at <laughs> Dynamic Eldorado. We know you're watching this. <laughs> we know you're listening, bud. Just pull up. But that That'd would be, be the ultimate drop in, right? Yeah, right. that. Or if you've seen the new Jackass, um, if you've seen Jackass Forever. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's pretty fun. But like the new fat guy they brought on. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. What's his, his name? name? Um, I remember seeing him on Instagram and YouTube and yeah, stuff yeah, before yeah. Jackass. Yeah, I saw he got on Jackass. That was pretty hype. So that's cool. Did you see it? They had a Shark Week thing on uh, HBO Max. Oh, is that where, um, what's his face? Like almost lost his the like, thumb. Poopies guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poopies. by a shark. Dude, Poopies is the fucking man, bro. That one's kind of funny. I, I think the Jackass crew, man, like. Can you think of anyone who has sacrificed more for comedy just to make people laugh about something stupid and they're like sacrificing their nuts and their oh God. assholes? Uh, and Zach Holmes, yeah. They've all been to the hospital for shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah that Zach is, Holmes. That's a big boy. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> God, uh, if, I, if you were a tattoo artist, do you think you would like somebody like this because there's so much canvas? I don't know. Or do you think it'd be annoying? Cause is is it hard to tattoo fat? Like, <laughs> I'm sure they don't care, right? Maybe they'll do whatever. God, there's so much. At least, oh, you see look how much bigger than the old fat guy he is. Oh my like, yeah, yeah. He makes the old fat That's guy crazy. look good, dude. Yeah, it's like a before and after. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, Preston. Yeah, dude, poopies, right. poopies was so fun. What did he do before? The, what was like his? Best one. I don't know if I knew about him before. I did I not, but him. I'm so glad I found out about him. He's so funny. But I, I don't know if there will ever be another jackass crew. Like, yeah, there will, dude. Oh my god, there's there's a guy on Instagram right now that I swear to god, that just like throws bowling balls, has nuts, <laughs> and like and like he was and he was also like running on a treadmill. And his friend came up with like a thousand Legos and dumped them like at the base of the treadmill, and he was sprinting on them. And but before he finally like fell, and he was doing it shirtless, and he fell like on his back on all the Legos. On but the could treadmill. they ever do it like Jackass Man? Because would it like just hurt themselves? Yeah. Well, hit the mainstream, like become a household name. Everybody knows who Jackass is. Right, right, right. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, I think, I think not just because like mainstream, mainstream, just because like. If they do it now, they're going to have their own thing on YouTube and just yeah. have their own channel of, like, two million subs that no one knows about. I think they were smart, though, and it, it, I'm sure it was a team effort, but, like, skateboarding was a lot of the mm-hmm. the draw to it, right? Like yeah. Well, because that was when, like, started with skate videos. He would throw some stupid stunts and stuff in yeah. there. Because that wasn't that when skating was, like, becoming a thing, too. But st- skating is as popular as ever, I think. Oh, so, yeah. It's in the Olympics now, dude. So, somebody could do it. Yeah, it's in yeah. the Olympics, man. That is crazy. I guess it should be right. Like, it's, yeah, it's better than that. Like sh- really shuffleboard just, game they play. Oh, curling or pussy ass swimming or something like that. Swimming's pretty right? hard, bro. Yes, no, it's not. It's just well, like to swim is hard, but like to, 
To swim is kind of easy. But I, know swim. Fast, yeah. I know swimming. I know swimming. Have you ever sport. seen those fuckers? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm they look kidding. like they look like a cobblestone road. They're so jacked. I tried to be a lifeguard one summer and I gave up because I didn't want to swim like the yeah. the laps you have to do. Yeah. I was like, this sucks. It's too hard. I can still only swim about four laps before I get tired. I've, not, I've never tried. I don't even know how many I could do. I had a gym membership with uh, LA Fitness has like an Olympic sized pool. Mm-hmm. And that, it's a really good like cardiovascular workout. Yeah. You get about four laps in and then you're like gassed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Georgia Tech. Uh, oh, yeah. They got that big old gym. Yeah. Cause they ho- and they hosted the 96 Olympics. Yeah. Like at Georgia Tech, they, some events. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, I've been in that pool. That's just pretty cool. They got a, they got a real gym at Georgia Tech. That place is bro. Nice. And then they got they got the pool, and then like beside it, they got like water slides. My brother went to Georgia Tech. Yeah, he was a mechanical engineer. Nice. It's hard. Did you join Frat? Hard. Yeah. You did? Which mm-hmm. one? ATO. Ah, they're pussies. Yeah. I think my dad was ATO. Actually. Yeah, your dad's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my brother was a uh, Delta Chi. Those guys were cool. Pussies. They were nerds, you know? Yeah. They were all like super high GPA. Yeah. Engineers. And whatnot. Yeah, a lot of people are. Even in the fraternities, even like some of the meathead fraternities are like. They used to party well. hard, though. Delta yeah. Chi. I went to a couple of the parties at their house. I did not Must not have been there. in the last like four years. Um, this was probably 2011, yeah. 2012. I'm old, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it was fun, dude. Because I remember I wasn't in one like my first semester, and I just like went from having a lot of fun in high school and to just go to, going down to Georgia Tech and like like I said, you a small town when like Amish kids or your competition yeah. you feel pretty fucking smart no, no and then no. you get to georgia tech and i was like wow i'm the dumbest kid here was it um still the uh let's see the the beta something those were the guys that were doing drugs back then that's what all the delta chi yeah this yeah dudes told me they there's like, no they're, they're kind of soft but there's one they're like, when i was there get there's, weed or whatever go to beta house there's just one beta that would hook you up <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> nah. I uh, I went to Kennesaw State University, and yeah. I went to Rush, and I remember like watching one of the videos of like the like the Rush videos or something, mm-hmm. and then my friend who was there with me turns to me and goes, "That one was pretty cool," and I'm thinking in my head like, "That was the gayest shit I've <laughs> ever seen in my life." Yeah, like, I so couldn't was, imagine something more tacky than that yeah. that I just watched. Yeah, <laughs> some of them are. I've seen stuff like that. Some of them are pretty corny. I don't even know if we had one. And then I rushed a frat because my brother's friend was in it, and um, they just like, I guess the the pledge phase or whatever, where they treat you like shit. I was yeah. like. I'm not doing this. Yeah. I think I got a text message and they were like, we need to move the letters from so-and-so's house over to this person's house. And uh, so you, you, you got to go do it. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we never had nothing like that. It was mostly just like, all right, we're going to have a party. You have to set up. And then after the party, be like, all right, you got to clean up now. And so many people would text me, and I wouldn't have their number or whatever, so I would just yeah. ignore it. And they yeah. would be like, why are you ignoring the yeah. text messages from, like, the brothers or whatever? I'm like, dude, I am not even, like, a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed up to a couple of you things. Just came, you just came once, and, like, they got your number. And I think it was also, like, you're not allowed to drink while you're a pledge or something like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, all these rules, man. Yeah. And one thing that really made me mad was I was dating a girl at a, at the time and I'm at like the the house's like official party or whatever and I have my girlfriend with me and some dude came like big dick swinging like stood in between me and my girlfriend and started talking to her. And I was Damn. like, I was like, this is a great sales pitch, guys. Like, yeah. I really want to join your gay little club now. <laughs> Everyone tries to fuck your girlfriend. So I, I didn't really like that school in general, but yeah. uh, that's why I, I never did that. My fraternity, my, my, the people 
I, I went to like a few when I first got there and it was similar experiences with that. So I wasn't going to join, but then I did nothing. I then met like just a more laid back fraternity. I think it's easy at like a, at like a engineering school where mostly people are there yeah. for school, but Bunch then they're also nerds. like, all right. That's the best case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, like my brother's fraternity, those guys were all cool and they yeah, were yeah. all like chill, but I also. Yeah, I've done some shows at Delta Chi. Okay. Pretty fun. Yeah. That's what's up. Nobody talked to me about it. Damn. I'm a, I'm a legacy. Your man. legacy. <laughs> Be like what? your legacy in law, dude. And one time, me and my uh, brothers, friends from Delta Chi, that was ten years ago. But yeah. <laughs> uh, we went to see My Chemical Romance and Blink One Eighty Two at uh, Lakewood Amphitheater. Used to be called Lakewood. Oh, Lakewood Amphitheater. I don't know what it's called thing? now. It's it's something. It was like I, Verizon for a while. I think it's I think it's Lakewood, dude. Yeah, because I saw Trippy Red there like a year or two ago. Nice, yeah. It was all. He actually sounds pretty good. That's where they used to do the Warp Tour. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was that's cool. They would do it in the parking lot, and then they would have the main stage like broken into two different stages. Yeah, that'd be a good spot for it. I also saw um, with the lawn too. King Diamond, yeah, the lawn is sick, dude. Yeah. Warp Tour used to be chaos because when it would start raining, people would just start like slip and sliding down the lawn. Oh, dude, that's what they did at the Little League <laughs> World Series all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like that. I think I think I've seen that video of the Little League. Dude, World I've done Series. it, dude, because it's it was like thirty minutes for me growing up. Okay, wow. Yeah, one time we were playing a house show in Savannah. And, like, two of the bands that were supposed to be on the show, like, they just didn't even show up. I guess they canceled, but the guy whose house it was, he didn't know they canceled. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was just, like, my band and one other band and, like, a couple of, uh, like, my friends that came out to the show. And then just this dude who lived in the house watching Little League Baseball on the TV while, like, bands played in the kitchen. Yeah. And I was like, this is depressing. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's sad. We were on tour, but it was not a show. It Have you had any house shows that were just like crazy? The they ones got out of control. The ones I used to throw. Yeah. They got pretty crazy, especially when I used to drink a lot. We used to get like a, a couple of kegs. Yeah. And then people would bring liquor and beer and stuff and we had house shows like over a hundred people. Oh, that's fine. And um, dude, I will say the one cool thing uh, about like growing up in the middle of nowhere is you you grow up around like a lot of rednecks, and they're super fun. Yeah. And almost all of them have a cabin. Yeah. Right. So instead of just like having to wait for your parents to go out of town, throw a party at your house, you could just like there's just a a building in the woods that you own. Like yeah. you could just all pull up there. So we'd have these cabin parties and like one. <laughs> year like over halloween weekend like it was this girl's birthday and she's like oh can you like throw us a party like throw me a party at our house like just make it. and we're like yeah we're gonna go stupid <laughs> and we like brought so much shit to this, this girl's house and it was just like a bunch of us there at this or not house like cabin like mill mill woods and it's a bunch of teenagers like and at one point we were standing out on like the back porch we had like the keg set up and like everything there and uh I'm looking around. There's like, there's like at least sixty kids on this porch. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't like the structural integrity of this porch right now. Yeah. And it just literally, I swear, got within five seconds of me thinking that the whole thing just fell down <laughs> with like all of us on it. Oh And man. it just like bowed into the center, and we like all fell on top of each other while the kid was like doing a keg stand. <laughs> and we got the keg off the porch and like saved everything quick. And at this in high school, I didn't like drink at all. I mostly like just smoking shit yeah and uh so i was high everyone else was pissed drunk and so i'm high i'm worried i'm like i'm like dude we gotta what is going on here like we gotta get out of here we gotta do because the girl whose cabinet was wasn't even there yet yeah she wasn't even there yet and uh i'm like i'm like bro we gotta fix this and this redneck said to me he's like dude i got tools in my truck we'll fix it tomorrow <laughs> and fucking i was like i don't believe this at all <laughs> and then the the girl was still not there, but her parents came before she was even there. And the dad was like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on, dude? And my friend, my friend Leo, I'll never forget this dude. He's like a, he's a man. He's like really short and like walks just his chest forward. 
yeah. you know, one of those kind of dudes. Yeah. And he's like, he's like a, a red solo cup in each hand. And he walks towards the, the, <laughs> the dad. He's like, Hey sir, how you doing? And the dad's like fuming. And my, <laughs> my friends just trying to talk to him just like, like it's an office meeting. Like, sir, how you doing? <laughs> and my, my, the guy's like, what the fuck's going on here? And Leo's just like, Hey, everything's fine. Uh, there was a little problem with the porch, but like, don't even worry about it. It'll be okay. And he's like, what the fuck do you mean there's a problem with my porch? <laughs> and Leo just goes, it's a deck now. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fucking it. Well, it's a deck. Yeah, it's a deck. Uh, <laughs> and then the dad did not like that. And Leo just turned around and was like, all right, everybody go to Jack's house. It was just like our buddy Jack. And like, then just everybody like, like that end of Ratatouille, like we all scampered into cars and just like yeah. went to like another house and just kept the party going there. But dude, to those rednecks credit, I swear the next morning they like fixed the porch. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That is the, man, people, people give rednecks like a bad name. But dude, they're funny as fuck. What, dude, they know how to do a lot of stuff, right? They usually yeah. know how to fix cars. Oh, they yeah. usually know how to like. They know how to do a lot of shit, dude. Put but they also together a deck. I feel like you've seen a guy hot w- or uh, jump a car with like house cables. I have just. I, I, I saw a redneck it. do that once. I Terrifying, it. dude. Yeah. Like they get like you got to hold the wire in the middle with something that's not your hand because it's so hot mm-hmm. that like your biggest risk is the wire literally melting. Uh, but yeah, there's, that just, there's, there's just yeah. a group. What of does a digital marketing uh, person know about like? Nothing, bro. Digging up a septic tank. Not yeah, a thing. For real. Or HVAC. Yeah. Dude, I saw a guy one time at a different cabin party. Uh, it was like homecoming time, you know, so like so like fall and uh, like late fall. And he like jumped off the roof of the cabin and like broke his leg and missed his like <laughs> senior <laughs> fucking high school football team. <laughs> One of my uh see his name was T. One of my best friends growing One up. One letter, bro. T? T. Is big T? No, no, no. <laughs> Not big T. Big T. Bro, big T would have bounced. Yeah. This was One of my Man, friends. that guy was really banking on going to the NFL, wasn't he? No. In, uh, name like T. Yeah. <laughs> One of my best friends growing up jumped off the the band building of our high school. Mm-hmm. This is when parkour was really popular. Oh fuck. And, yeah. um, and he he thought he could brace the impact by rolling, but it must have been like <laughs> 20, 30 feet. In oh, the my end. God. Bro- I think he broke either one or both of his ankles. I'm surprised he didn't break his fucking vertebrae. Dude. He did roll. Yeah. But, man, That's he was terrible. a wild guy, too, though. One of my favorite things at one of those house parties was uh, one of those cabin parties was uh, there's one. I was at, we were like out on the porch, just like smoking cigs. And we had like a can that we were ashing in. And, uh, there's this one dude that would just get like pissed drunk at every party. And I think at one party he, he showed up. Oh, at that party where the, the kid jumped off the roof, he showed up with like a Trump sign. Cause that was 26. That was like 2016, like a month or two before the election. He had like a Trump lawn sign that he just like was like holding okay. and somebody burned it and he was hammered just like who the fuck burned my son <laughs> and anyway, like another time i saw him walking around at a cabin party like kind of late later at, at the night like at the tail end of it and he's walking around he's grabbing like kind of half drinking beers as high schoolers like tend to leave behind he's like just dr- he's just chugging them he's like we gotta polish off these empties and he came out to where we're smoking cigs and he's like y'all got any empties and we're like no and he's like yeah you do and he grabbed like the ashtray sig and just like oh uh, yeah drank that can i've done that so many times though. uh dude, no but he didn't even like flinch like it wasn't like a like it wasn't like he took a sip was like oh shit let me spit this out that was gross my bad it was like he took a sip was like where's the next one uh, yeah yeah i've probably done that before too though no oh, christ <laughs> You ever piss the bed? Like, all, the so time, all the time, dude. All the time. All I'm I'm bad with it, bro. I'm notorious, bro. It's bro. That's why bro, I it's asked bad, it, dude. One time, oh my god. Because I already knew. One time, <laughs> like a year or two ago, I pissed my I pissed my pants like on like a weeknight, dude. Like, <laughs> in college, and I had class at like, uh, damn, dude. I was a senior in college, and I fucking pissed my pants, <laughs> and. uh I pissed my pants and I had to go back home to like change before class because <laughs> I didn't want to show up like that. And I'm a grinder, dude. I'm not going <laughs> to skip class, okay? 
was actually about semi-conducting. Wait, this is while you were awake? No, so I pissed my pants overnight, and I woke up at, like, oh, 8, yeah. and I had a class at 10. Oh, so I was right. like, all right, run back home, change, and come. And as I'm driving home, I, like, there's a gas station. I'm like, all right, I need a Gatorade. I need something. And so I pull in, and I walk inside, and I go to, uh, I, like, get Gatorade, and I go to pay, and I put my debit card in. <laughs> that I didn't realize was soaked in piss <laughs> and it just, it, the whole credit card reader just shorted out. And the guy, <laughs> the guy was like, the guy by the counter was like, I don't think you have any money. I was like, I knew what happened cause I was like holding it. Like I looked down and saw like it, how wet it was. I was like, yeah, I think I don't either. I, I'll see you later. <laughs> I just left. Damn. He thought you were homeless. He was like, know. this guy smells like piss. Yeah. He's covered in piss. He's covered. He's got and piss he's got stain. no money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude i remember it was literally to get home i literally had to go straight and then straight right turn straight again and it felt like rainbow road dude yeah like i was still drunk that morning um yeah that's probably not good to drive i wasn't that drunk i, was, <laughs> I already pissed most of it out dude <laughs> felt like a rainbow road. <laughs> that's funny yeah um yeah it's the beer that gets you that's yeah that's yeah. when you pee the volume dude because yeah because you get so drunk after a while that you don't realize that you got all this liquid mm-hmm. in you. Well, dude, I swear to God, too, I, I feel like I'm the solution for, like, climate change or sustainable resources. Because I can take one beer and turn it into, like, <laughs> double its mass and piss, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I drank two beers here tonight. I'm going to piss four times by the end of the night. Sw- like, <laughs> it's all the water in your body. I leaving. don't know, man. Probably. Yeah. Maybe it's just what the, the Irish do. Um, that would be funny if you had a car that ran on piss. Yeah. I always thought that'd be a good idea because how many times do you have like a long drive and then you you lose like twenty minutes because you got to pull over and take a piss, mm-hmm. and there's not even a place to take a piss on like every you ever have exit, to pull over and take know? a shit. I think that could be way more efficient. Why do I have to like pull off the highway? Go to a private business that may or may not let me use their bathroom. Yeah, and they just have a brick stapled <laughs> to the key that you got to use. Because I don't want to just pull over on the side of the room. Some people would say pull over on the side of the road and just pee. Right. Yeah. But not? that's illegal, technically. That's illegal? I'm pretty sure. What about pooping? Can you poop? Well, it's just about whipping your dick out, right? Or oh. whipping, get, Getting your private parts exposed. That's what the dick is for. The public. <laughs> That's what it's literally made for. <laughs> That's true. You know, if God didn't want it, people to see it, he wouldn't have put if it God on the outside. If God didn't want me to piss on the side of Interstate 85, he wouldn't have built it. That's all I'm saying. I like to go off the bridge. That's yeah. Fun. Always fun. <laughs> uh, which height, I would oh, love height, to do. Yeah. But I w- the way I see it is like, yeah, it saves time, but if a cop pulls me over and arrests me for peeing or I'd something so like that, pissed. then oh. the <laughs> literally, literally, uh, then I'm gonna waste even more time because yeah. now I gotta talk to the cop or go to jail and yeah. become a registered sex offender. That's not or, fun. That's not cash money, bro. Yeah, and that the, that get put on Megan's law just because you had a few road beers. Like going to jail is gonna put me like. 24 hours behind at least if you fight the cop you're probably just uh in for assault now and that's assuming my mom bails me out which she might not it's a big assumption so that's why i have kids so now in 18 (laughs) years i have someone to bail you out dude yeah someone to drive me home from the bar yeah i just like you're gonna have that in 12 years i'm gonna (laughs) i don't even drink anymore but i'm still gonna go to the bar and call my kid to come drive me home from that'd be funny just because i think like that's yeah they need to that's a rightful passage of childhood yeah i just i just like pissing outside man like if i'm in my living room like at night and i've had some beers and i (laughs) could totally just use the bathroom in my house i'd rather go outside and piss you live in like a house or an apartment house okay because I used to pee off the, the balcony of my apartment, and mm-hmm. my downstairs neighbors started getting mad at me. They would hate that. <laughs> we had our fraternity house was like, uh, like stacked up. It was like three stories high, and on the side we had like a fire escape, um, with like at the bottom was like a cement pad, and like pissing off of that was the best. Or just throwing shit off that was so fun, like lighting something on fire and throwing it off. My um, 
my college dorm we used to smoke cigarettes in there and we would just throw the butts out uh, yeah. off of the back porch and right. then eventually like somebody came and left a bunch of like pine straw like covering it on our no they weren't even covering uh, it it was like you guys got to put out the pine straw because you smoked cigarettes. oh damn yeah, um, we're about an hour at an hour, and you said you got a show or something. Yeah, uh, another podcast to do, or uh, uh, maybe you just gotta hit the strip club or something like that. Uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll get leave out it of up here, to right? imagination. <laughs> something important. So uh, thanks for coming through, man. This was fun. Yeah, appreciate you. Billy. And, it was fun. Uh, it was a last minute kind of uh, hit you up, so I appreciate you being down for something like this. Yeah, man, it worked out. It came over kind of just like right after work. I live ne- work near here. Hell yeah. I think you're one of my favorite stand-up comedians uh, in Atlanta right now. So uh, Damn, hell yeah, I, dude, I definitely you. mean that. I used to see you around open mics, and I'd be like, this guy's kind of funny. And then I saw you on some showcases, and I was like, oh, this guy's really funny. Hell yeah. So dude, thank you, man. Keep it up, man. I'm trying to. what you're doing. Check him out. Patrick O'Malley. Peace, y'all.